Welcome to Upgrade Code Units Made Easy. Hey, I'm Eric. We are not perfect. I am not perfect. No, sometimes I create the perfect data structure with the perfect tables just to realize two weeks later that, damn, I missed a key in the primary key. I missed a field in the primary key or, you know, the world is just changing. So what is right on, on a Monday is wrong on a Wednesday. Uh, and you end up in a situation where you need to make a change to your tables, to your data structure that Business Central does not see as only adding things. Because you can always add a new field, you can add a new table, you can add a new key, but you, there's certain things that you cannot change. Um, and what do you do then? Um, the answer is, as I already probably guessed from the title of the video, is an upgrade code unit. I've seen a lot of strange attempts to avoid writing an upgrade code unit, um, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm going to show you that. Uh, and here's an app I created. This app is perfect. Well, see, I got a customer, I can when and what, and I can type something in. And by the way, the customer does no lookup, and I can say that this was twenty uh, seventh and uh, demo, demo, demos. That's a great table. Uh, the customer loves this table, but then suddenly the customer comes back and tells me, "Eric, I need two entries on the same date." So, long story short, at some point, I need to change this date field to a date time. Sure, no problem. I go into the app, I find my app, and so oh, here is the table. Well, good. A date time, we're done. That was easy. I hit a file, let's just deploy, just make sure that it works. Boom. Uh, let's read that. Blah, 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 blah. The reason. Uh, the, the extension package for blah, 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 that you're trying to install has a different set of tables and table extension than the extension package that has been previously synchronized. You should increase the version of the extension and restart the deployment process uh, or force synchronization of the current package. Well, force doesn't work because then we're probably going to break stuff. So let's do as it's suggested and, and give this a new version. Let's upgrade again or deploy again. Uh oh, could not upgrade the nav extension. Still says nav, by the way, that's always fun. Uh, blah, 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 table something. The field when has changed its data type from nav date to nav date time. Changing, the, again, we get these internal uh, names of data types. Changing the data type of fields is not allowed. Um, the field when has changed the length of the data type from four to eight. Yeah, that's how it's stored behind the scene, but it's kind of weird. Anyway, long story short, this is not gonna upgrade. Uh, so let me just see if I, now I'm on version one, uh, if we go back and say, hey, this is still a date, can we deploy now? We're happy, okay. So so how, did, how do we get from, how do we get, this change to date time without losing our data. And um, the first thing we need to do is realize that this table is done. This table is no longer gonna be the one that we can work with. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is that I'm simply gonna make a copy of it. Um, and now I need to we'll see which one is the, the copy is this one. So I will rename the file to say this is number two some reason or you can call it ex or stuff, whatever we'll give it a new number my data two so now i have a new table and i can change this no worries um, and i can go in i can i can perhaps do a you know saying my data uh, replace with my data two uh, and then i can see that well there's some places where clearly on a source table here, this one needs to be a, be the new one. Um, 
so we can go in and, and change that. So we're on the on the page. My data two now. Uh, and my data two needs I think it's still actually happy. Let's see if we can the package is created. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes you need to when you when you do stuff like that, just reload because the compiler gets confused. So if I is if I run my app now, so I add a new table, I change all the references from the old table to the new table. Uh, there's only one in this case, but but everything else is now running on the new table. So let's run our app. So in this case, it still said, hey, you got to increment the uh, the number. So sure, let me do that. I'll increment the number again, the version number, because I added a new table here. So now we got the new thing, but we're missing our data because we just created a new table. So what we need to new, do now is that we need to create an upgrade code unit. Um, so I will I'll create a new file here. Uh, we can call it upgrade. Uh, I'll go, I want to create a code unit. Loading, I think I broke something. That's been a while since I actually broke the compiler. Huh. No worries. Let's call it this number. Upgrade one. Maybe I need to reload because I broke the compiler. Um, and here, so when you create a, a upgrade code unit, uh, what we need to do is that we need to add in what is known as a subtype. And saying this code unit is what? Well, this code unit is, is an upgrade code unit. Um, and as soon as you upgrade, we have a bunch of triggers. Uh, and and there's there's only two I'm going to talk about in this uh, in this video. I will. Uh, Waldo created a, a great article going in into the the long version of of upgrade code units. You know, this is going to be the the the, the, the simple one. Uh, I will put a link to his uh, blog post here. Uh, but the ones that we're going to talk about here is on upgrade per company and on upgrade per database. Uh, since the table we are working with is a per company data uh, table, uh, then we will use the on upgrade per company trigger. If it was a table shared for all uh, companies, I'll handle it per database. So we'll do this one. And um, yeah, which is actually pretty simple pattern. So, so clearly we have something that's the old record. That's the one called my data, and we have a new one. This one that's called my data two. Um, so now we can uh, we can we can create some upgrade code. So we can say if old find. Hang on, hang on. Old dot find set then repeat until old dot next equal zero the, the classic pattern and here we have we have different ways of going about this um, we can we clearly we need to create some new records so we, it, eventually this is what we need to do uh, we could also use the data uh, transfer objects I'm, that, that's probably a different video. So um, uh, if you think, hey, now he'll use that, I won't. That I think that's a different video. This is just the basic of upgrade code unit. So here I could do, well, new dot customer equal old dot customer, new dot, what did I call it? What equal old dot what? Um, I could also try to use transfer fields instead. I could I could do new dot transfer fields from old, 
Uh, but in this case, since I changed, I, I kept the field number two uh, here as as when I, I, I could have um, said that this was a different field number, then transfer fields would have worked. Uh, but now we have field number two with two different data types, so it's gonna bar for you. Uh, so in this case, I'll not use transfer fields, but I will say new dot when equal create date time and the two parameters to uh, to create date time is a date so that will be old when because that was a date and then just zero time so so we will just take the data we had so now we, we we need to turn a date into a date time and this is one way of doing it um, Maybe the customer say, oh, all those old ones, I want them at eight o'clock or, or stuff like that. But in this case, I'm just going to do it at, at midnight instead. This is pretty good. Um, and and this, will, this will work. Now we have, we have two options. Uh, one, we could go and say all dot delete all. Get rid of them. Very valid. Uh, the, the challenge is that maybe we, we, we want to keep them for, for whatever reason it is uh, right now. Um, so we don't want every time we're upgrading in the future. We don't want this upgrade to run again if this one has not upgraded, if this one has already been upgraded. And for that, there's a system of setting a tag uh, and then there's a, there's a code unit for it, so you can just code unit called upgrade tag. And it's super simple that you make up a tag. Um, so we can say that if tag dot has upgrade tag, and then let's call it uh, uh, my data upgrade one. Let's make sure that, that you know, you know what it is. You could also create a create this as a as label instead. Um, so if this tag existed, exists, then don't upgrade. So with that, the only thing we need to do afterwards is go into the tag, set upgrade tag. my data and this is where people say oh yeah you should have created a uh a, a, a label maybe we should maybe we should just can we can do is there a extract to label and we want to do both of them uh my tag that clearly didn't work my tag or did it there we go so now we have a label and it's there. So if this is already upgraded, then do nothing. When we're done upgrading, uh, set the tag. I like to do one more thing. So actually let's try this. Uh, so we're, we're gonna, gonna put a, a version here. Um, and what you also can do if you're working with this and you wanna play with this in, in, in launch, You can, you can actually go in here and then you can say, hey, upgrade. So, so if, if you are playing with, with upgrade code units and you are in doubt if the triggering, getting triggered, you can use this false upgrade to always run the upgrade. So let's run this, deploy it, success. And we have our data. So it says 5 p.m. here actually, because what I put in was a, a UTC midnight. I should have thought about that, but hey, I'm on the, on, the, on the West Coast. So now we got our data upgraded and we know that, let's see if we can find it. We, we know that it's not gonna operate again afterwards. Uh, and if we then come into a situation where we need to do some another upgrade, I prefer to create a, uh, 
a, a different operate code unit. Uh, so I only have one trigger instead of doing if it has another trigger, then go uh, go test that. So you build, but your mileage may vary. I, that, that's, I'm just saying what I prefer. But I wanna do one more thing bef before we're done with this because now we have, there's a risk, right? Right now there's a risk that you can still use my data. Um, so what I usually do is that the first time I go in and then I set obsolete state pending, uh, obsolete reason replaced by my data too. So when I go in here and I still have, I still use this one, oops, I build, now I have a problem saying that my data is marked for removal replaced by my data too. Uh, so I know I need to fix that. And at some point, and you see the cool thing here, that I don't get that, let's just do it again. You see, I get one problem. I don't get that problem in my upgrade code unit. Uh, so what happens if we go in and set this to removed? Then this turns into an error instead. So I can go back to my data view and say, hey, this is needs to be two. But my upgrade code unit will still work even though the other one is marked removed. So you can go straight to removed. Uh, I usually go to, to pending. Um, also, if if there are other apps, that the, if this is some of my, my app apps, then you, you, you don't want to give other people a, a chance not you're still breaking their apps if they have a dependency on, on yours because you did change something but but you're not breaking them so bad that they uninstall uh, which would be the case if they have a dependency on yours and and you have changed it so they no no longer is able to deploy anyway let's uh, see if we can find the, the upgrade code again that's a uh, that's a that's a, a simple upgrade code unit. There's a lot of considerations, uh, and and you can you can make this more more complex. You can make it if if you're moving big data, uh, uh, lots of records, millions of records. There's a better way to do this than this. Uh, but I've we're already 17 minutes in, so I think that will have to be another video. Let me know if you want the 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 data transfer. Uh, video. Um, anyway, this is a good start. This is way better than um, which I have seen, including Microsoft has done a few times that that you you put the upgrade on 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 open page somewhere where so the first user that goes in are running some weird upgrade code. And that is that is triggered by by that instead of doing it the right way. Uh, and this is the right way. And it works quite well, especially now that we have the force upgrade uh, in, in the launch, making it so much easier to test um, than, because before it was kind of weird, did it run, did it not run, and, and so on. Uh, now we know it runs all the time. Uh, anyway, if you have time, if you have the, the passion for more AL hacking, uh, go check out this video. Wow, my fingers. This is a good one. It's for you. See you there. Take care. Bye.